Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises, honor, glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem And I'm the brother Tanziar Gabor from Waco, Texas. Prophets in Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of the Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida Camp. The one to the elders and apostles of GMS and peace saltations to the Holy Light. All right. Uh, yeah, so I, I remember in the morning, you know, my phone couldn't, it couldn't do anything, you know, couldn't call, couldn't get on the internet. Like the whole thing would just be backed up. And I thought my phone bill was off, but it turns out, you know, AT&T. And it was someone else. They had a worldwide shortage. This made me instantly think about the scripture Amos 8 and 11. But it also made you think, you know. The Lord can shut this thing down at any moment. And ultimately he's going to do it through Esau. Alright. Left hand side. So, let's read this. Let's see what what it says. It says AT and T says service has been restored after massive massive outage. So it was a worldwide outage. Um, AT and T in the country's largest carrier with more than two hundred forty million subscribers. So, two hundred forty million people phones was shut down. You know, you couldn't go on the internet. Couldn't call nobody. It wouldn't even ring. Couldn't go on any type of app. And that, it was for a good six hours. And look how it transitioned, you know, from a snap of a finger. That's all it takes. So... AT&T said Thursday afternoon that all of its customers impacted by nationwide service outage have cell service again after hours without the ability to place calls. I remember trying to call my dad, my father, and then my mother to see if it would work because I thought my bill was cut off. So I was like, dang, they must have just cut the whole thing off. It wouldn't even ring. All right, send text or access internet without Wi-Fi. At an AT&T spoke person provided the update shortly before 3.30 p.m. Eastern, nearly 12 hours after customers began reporting issues. You know, and you know, Jake can't go without it, the internet. No, two things. Jay can't go without food and the internet. You know, so Jake was bugging out. And I thought to myself, I was like, whatever, you know. I just paid in the morning. I was a little mad, but you know, I would have just took the L. Because ultimately, this is going to happen for real on a worldwide scale. Nobody's going to have these um, luxuries of the flesh being able to go on your phone and all that. The Lord is going to take all of that from us. And he's going to test us soon. All right. And I'll just hit it off with Amos. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So soon it's gonna be a famine of hearing the words of the Lord, meaning the Lord is gonna take his prophets off the street corners. And we're not gonna be prophesying, we're not gonna be doing classes. Because that's going to be the time of judgment. 
also known as Jacob's Trouble, which is fastly approaching. And it ain't going to be no internet calling your mom, dad, brother, you know. And the Lord is going to test us. He's going to see if we about it, you know. We're not going to have access to our phones, you know, but ultimately... He gonna put the spirit on the devil. You know, shut down the internet. Whether it be an EMP attack or however it goes down. You know, he he's gonna test brothers to see. So. So that right there, that was just a. A little anklet to what's going to really happen, you know, soon. During during the time of Jacob's trouble. Alright, and this scripture is just talking about hearing the words of the Lord. So a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. Let alone, it is going to be a famine of food and water. So the Lord is going to completely take away all fleshly desires and... Brother's gonna get tried, so so uh, when that happened, you know, I, I automatically thought of the scripture Amos 8 and 11. So that's what's to come, all right. So verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So they're going to run to and fro, from, to and fro, seeking to get this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, to know what's going on in those times, but they're not going to find it. And that's the two thirds because they had the chance and look what they doing with it alright so I'm going to close out you know it's going to be a famine it's going to be a famine of the word soon internet will be shut down soon but with that, Lord willing, this video was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekakadash. I'm Taziar Gabar from Props in Babylon, Waco, Texas. The warrants to the elders and apostles of Great Bellstone and Peace and Salutation. On down to the Holy Elect. Shalom.